Welcome to the program. She is the youngest Bangladeshi to have reached the top of Mount Everest, and she is on a quest to climb the highest mountains on each of the seven continents. We spoke to Wasfia Nazreen on Impact back in February this past weekend, though she has been awarded National Geographic's Award, Adventurer of the Year in the Activist category. She has set herself the gruelling challenge to celebrate four decades of women's progress in Bangladesh. We're going to be speaking to Wasfia in a moment to congratulate her on her latest award as well. First, though, let's take a look at what she has set out to do on her Bangladesh in Seven Summits campaign. The first summit Waspia reached was Mount Kilimanjaro. You can see her here in Tanzania. She climbed to the top in October 2011. That same year, she went here. She summited Aconcagua in the Andes and then went on to climb Everest in May 2012. Last year, Waspia reached the top of Vincent Massif in Antarctica and Mount Elbrus, which is in Russia's Caucasus Mountains. There goes the map. And in June, it's only just happened really, uh, must be fresh in her memory. We'll be talking to her about it in a moment. She went to Denali in North America, and that means that all that is left to do is to summit Ka Sten's Pyramid, which is in Indonesia. What incredible achievements. Let's speak now to Wasfia. She joins me now live from her hometown of Dhaka. Thank you very much for joining us again and congratulations on your new award but let's first start by talking about the summiting of Denali because Waspia I'm very pleased to see your nose is looking okay now that turned out to be quite a challenging climb <laughs> yes thank you so much for having me um, it was my third attempt on Denali uh, but I got very lucky because the season had only 33 percent of summit rate and um, luckily I was acclimatized when the window opened and we pushed for it, but we were stuck in the ridge line with the 35 miles per hour wind and I frost nipped the uh, tip of my nose. But luckily the face heals a lot faster and I'm all better and it's all good. <laughs> your mind and your body just may, must take such a battering when you climb these mountains. What is it that keeps you going and inspires you? Um, you know, I'm on a mission to highlight how far women have come in the last 40 years, 40 plus years of Bangladesh's history. So um, that's basically the source of my energy and the way my people, the people of Bangladesh have rallied me up. That's, that's what keeps me going. And it's been truly the source of my energy when I get stuck. One of the things we love when we see pictures of you climbing is the hula hoop that you break out at the top of each summit. It seems like such an expression of joy to me, but what else is it about? So it has sort of started when I was on Kilimanjaro, the first um, climb of the campaign, and my friend, uh, who's also a guide, Meredith Riley, she brought out a hula hoop from her bag. And it reminded me of a story um, of my childhood when I was a little girl and I hadn't seen foreigners um, before that. We had some visitors from Scotland who had um, her, their daughter bring this ring-like thing. And it's a very foreign toy for us. And I was really into it. And that's when a neighborhood aunt had commented how, in a very derogatory Bengali way, that how a good girl shouldn't be spinning their hips. Um, so, and I told myself that I'm a good girl and I'm never going to play with the hula hoop. But um, it's sort of, so when Meredith pulled her, out her hula hoop in Kilimanjaro, we sort of, um, after Kilimanjaro, we sort of decided that I'm going to take uh, this hula hoop as a symbol to claim back what was taken from me as my right to play when I was a girl. Um, not just with hula hoop, but with all other forms of sports or just being outdoors. And the challenges that you face as a little girl continue to face young women today in Bangladesh as well. Tell us about the work that you're doing with your charity, the Usul Foundation, because there must be huge challenges involved there in convincing parents even to allow their daughters to take part in some of the activities you do. Yes, there are challenges, but I also i am very hopeful because I think uh, things are changing right now. Um, 
when I, we have so much, so many requests from villages where parents want, even fathers want their daughters to edu get educated, not just through the academic level, but through outdoors. And they're, they're learning to uh, experience that sports is good for adolescents and adolescent girls' growth and um, smart women basically sweat, like to sweat. And so um, I think it's in a very interesting part of the movement and I think it's slowly shifting and I'm very hopeful that we can, given the momentum and given the highlight of this campaign, we ha we're in a very good spot. And USEL Foundation, we're, we have sort of, we were Bangladesh on Seven Summits Foundation and currently we're rebranding it. USEL is a Tibetan word that means uh, the intrin um, intrinsic purity that lies within all of us and uh, we, we want to show to people that no matter which background you come from, it's very easy to reach that potential. And we all have that regardless of what context we come from. Well, so we have and uh, we're also hoping that uh, um, it has a Tibetan meaning. Say that again, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, we, there is a slight delay, but I, I was just going to say that there are these pictures that we have of you when you're summiting Everest. For young girls in Bangladesh, to see these pictures of you. You must be such a source of inspiration to them. But what does it mean to you when you then see these young girls taking part in outdoor activities and, and climbing and using their bodies? I'm really sorry, I missed the question. The line is a little... Wasfia, can you still hear me? I think we have a I can hear you. You broke up for a second. I missed the last question. I, I just wondered how it was for you to watch these young girls that you're inspiring when they're outside climbing and using their bodies. What does it mean to you? Well, honestly, I think it's inspiration for me. It's, I'm not inspiring them. To me, when I see another young girl, another especially Bangladeshi girl, be, being out there and achieving their dreams, it takes me to my own childhood. And I personally find my own healing by having this experience too. And it's, it's not just me inspiring them. I get, I often and most of the time get more inspired when I'm in these situations. So it's actually the other way around. They inspire me. They're the source of my inspiration. Finally, Waspia, we've got one more summit that you've got to climb. Are you desperately anxious now to get to Indonesia and to do it? Actually not, because I'm not in any kind of race, and this is the last uh, summit, and we have some really exciting plans about it. We're trying to do a new route, me and my climbing partner, Rob Powers, from Canada. We're trying to do it ourselves. We're setting up our own route, um, and it's been a little challenging because I have a Bangladeshi passport, and with a Bangladeshi passport to go to an Indonesia-controlled territory, we need four different clearances to come. Uh, the army clearance still hasn't arrived. I was supposed to leave for it end of November so right now everything is up in the air and uh, everything's sort of like very anxious like I don't really know when we're gonna actually be able to leave but the good thing about this climb is um, you can technically organize it all year round so I can delay it a little bit and I just want to do it in a proper way where uh, the local people's wishes are respected it's a very um, interesting territory it's uh, the local Papuans are in is often in tribal wars within themselves I also want to make sure that um, our safety is guaranteed while we're crossing the villages into the hike uh, through the hike into the mountain so right now um, I just want to go there in the best possible safest way possible and just uh, we have some other exciting plans after the summit um, around the region so um, I'm very excited. Well, Waspir, we know you're going to do it. We wish you all the best and hope you can come and talk to us again once you achieve it. Thank you very much and congratulations on your award. Waspir Nazreen there speaking to us from Dhaka, isn't she?